So I'm actually excited about the AAC and Essentials for several different reasons. When speaking with our practice partners, there's a concern that there's varying levels of preparation across the country. For us at East Carolina University College of Nursing, we really don't have those problems because we graduate the highest entry into practice nurses in the state. We also have a 97% NCLEX pass rate, which is 15 percentage points higher um, than the national average. So for us, um, our, our product has never really been an issue. But we also see this as an opportunity to, to really take things to the next level. Um, we haven't really revised our curriculum since 2003, so this is a strategic opportunity for us. We've actually been waiting for this opportunity, so this aligns uh, pretty well um, for, for us at East Carolina College of Nursing. Our approach to revising our, our curriculum is actually pretty simple. So far, each level has worked um, within teams to reevaluate our curriculum and they've completed mapping. We actually started this process in fall 2021. We also had some opportunities for faculty development. So we, we started mapping spring 2022 and we completed mapping in summer 2022. So now we, we actually had the opportunity to stop um, with me as a new dean just to reevaluate exactly where we are. And we're, we're moving forward in a slightly different direction. AACN is recommending having a one person champion over each school and we're, we're adopting that. So now we're gonna have a faculty member because as you know, the curriculum does belong to the faculty. So we're gonna have a faculty member champion the process um, also co-chaired by the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs just to you know, help support with resources. We'll have leads over each level of the programs and then have the chairs be facilitators for that program. So we're, we're, we're really excited about this and um, the next step for us is to start identifying gaps and revising the curriculum. There are several tools available, but for us at East Carolina University College of Nursing, we've been using the AACN New Essentials Toolkits, and that's, that's been very helpful. The New Essentials website was launched, I believe, just two days ago, and it, it's a repository of lots of information. We plan to use that also. Another strategy we're using, in addition to faculty development, is partnering with similar schools of similar sizes and resources. So um, after some of the presentations yesterday, I was able to meet with some uh, deans from other universities who want to partner with us. So we, we think that'll be a, a great way to share resources, you know, and, and, and to sort of go through this journey together. We've had advisory um, committee meetings with our practice partners where they've heard this, but also we're, we're intentionally working on some formal academic practice partnerships with um, our, our main practice partner, which is ECU Health, we just merged with them in summer 2022, so this is a great opportunity. So we're going to use the new essentials as a foundation for our academic practice partnership relationship with um, ECU Health. So we will have members of the hospital represented on our team while we're um, revising the new curriculum.